Good afternoon all and welcome back to Blaze and Space. You find us trying to decide with how much swearing we can get away with this week. I've been told emphatically by my boss the answer is none, so hooray. On more exciting things like comics from DC, we have Aquaman The Becoming, which is part one of six. Also in similarly fishy territory, we've got King Shark in Suicide Squad, part one of six. Both of these have stolen some hearts this last year. This one in particular stole Hollywood. Good fun, I like it. We also have Fantastic Four 36, and you might be asking yourself, didn't 35 was a bumper of the book come out last week? Yes, it did. Do not get caught out, okay? This is coming very, very hot on the heels. Not quite a double chipper, but almost. So literally just one week apart. Frontiersman issue number one is new from Image. A lot of fun, really. After flicking for it a little bit earlier today, think a shirtless bear fighter slash Horizon Zero Dawn game-ish mashup, and it's a little bit crazy, but a lot of fun. There's a beautiful essay at the back of the book by the creators, and it's very evident they are caring deeply about comics and what they're doing, which we always love to see. Significantly dark here. He Who Fights With Monsters, this is brought to you by a blaze. Definitely, you might be able to tell there from that cover. If not, you certainly will be able to in a few moments' time. Very much a supernatural-ish World War II Nazi mashup of horror. Um, if that sounds like your cup of tea, expect something suitably grim. It will not be pretty, but very, very cool, I imagine. Finally, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last run in four. I know it's only number four, but it is finally here. Don't know why it was delayed. All we know is we're very happy it's finally here. So issue number five will be brought to you some point within the next decade. The Death of Doctor Strange is brought to you, I'm told, by Mr. Jed McKay. I didn't realise until four and a half minutes ago that Jed McKay is also currently writing Moon Knight to great aplomb. But this looks bloody awesome. On flick, I mean, woof. That's very cool. I do want to show you the back because this is going to go over quite a few issues. Okay, you might want to pause this if this sounds like your cup of tea because that is your reading list for the next month or so, and that's going to go everywhere across all the titles and all the one-shots. Hopefully that camera's focusing on that. That should be enough by now. Let's move over to Marvel for a couple of reprints super quickly. This was hot. It's back for a second print. Spirits of Ghost Rider, number one, as is Al Ewing's New Defenders, number one. First appearance in that caught everyone off guard, as there will be in issue two, three, and four, I believe, of the same series. So get caught up on that quickly if you are wanting those. Finally, DC has got us covered with a lot of Scarecrow shenanigans this week. We've got Batman 113. That's part two of Fear State proper. As always, I've been saying it for months, but it looks beautiful on the inside. DC have also decided that you need more Miracle Molly in your life, so she gets the secret files. But I do want to highlight this because the art is done by one Miss Danny Strips. If you, if you don't know, you will do. DC will be bringing your, her your way a lot in the coming few months. And Christ, she deserves it. That's going to be very cool. And finally, Fear State as well is in this week's Catwoman. All right? A few quick covers of the week. This one's up for debate. You let me know what you think. I think Greg needs a slap, but that's just me. That's Ekor number five and some dude on the front cover. Alien issue number seven is out now. I love that. What more do I want from then a xenomorph running for the reads at me romantically? Woof. Batman 113 has got the Melina cover. Now, Melina will be on the interiors of Batman, I think, after Tinian's run ends. And if it looks anything like this, then count me in. Because that's just exactly how I want my Batman. Huge, implausibly chunky, and massive. Eat the Rich number two is here for a variant cover. However, it's got Eat the Rich number one on the front. So don't get caught out when you're looking at it online. That is number two. And when you check it out on the back, it is number two. They thought fit to plaster it with number one on the front. Maybe it's a cunning selling technique. I don't know. Maybe it's boom cocking up. Who knows? He Who Fights With Monsters. This is cover C. I'm correct for once. Cover C. As you can tell, and I mentioned a few moments ago, it's quite dark in tone. Okay, so not one for the youngsters if they're around. Neither is this. Hide the eyes. This is King Spawn, issue number two, with a beautiful cover. That's the Todd McFarlane cover. I mean... Pretty grim, pretty cool. But I think Greg and I have settled on this this week. This is Fantastic Four, 36, the Miles Morales variant by Russell Dortmund. That's beautiful. The more you look at that in the close, I'm not sure how much the camera's that going to pick up, but the more you look at it in the flesh, it's very cool. That is all for me this week, folks. I, I'm actually off this next week, so I, I don't know. I'll see the week after. If I live, there'll be some booze involved, I imagine. In a bit.